Greetings, my name is Abdel Mousouske. Today we're at the lesson of the Albanian language and literature. Today I'm presenting War and Peace by Levin Nikolaevich Tolstoy. So, first, he started the first book in 1805. This is centered in Russia, obviously, at an aristocratic party hosted by Anna Pavlovna Shere, where we also meet the titular characters Prince Andrei Nikolaevich Balkonsky, Pierre Bezobov, and Yelena Kuragina. So, in the second book, it's the Battle of Austerlitz. Pierre Bezobov was a member of the French military at the time, he was a soldier. And in Austerlitz, he faced all the battalions for all the atrocities and what it caused to the families and the people themselves. In the third book, 1806, uh, Pierre Bezobov uh, goes from France, returns to Russia, and What's important is that we need to talk about Pierre, Andre, and Yelena. Because Pierre and Yelena, they get married. However, it's not a long, happy, nor is it a fulfilling, ma fulfilling marriage because Yelena cheats on Pierre. Andre is love, and Andre Balkonsky uh, is grieving the death of his wife, which leads him to a mental turmoil where he gets the disillusion of politics and the aristocratic society. We're moving to the fourth book, War and Peace. In the fourth book, uh, it talks about the war between uh, Napoleon's France and Imperial Russia. So, Pierre Vesilov and Andrei Balkovsky, they are soldiers in this war. And they start to defend Moscow and whatnot, set up uh, preparations, fortify everything. And that's that. In the fifth book, which is the Battle of Borodino, 600,000 French soldiers marching on Russian fields, frigid, absolutely cold. It's not a surprise that a lot of them died due to hypothermia, starvation, and thirst. Let's not forget the ambush set up by the Russian military at the time. In the sixth book, I have the epilogue. The epilogue continues after the whole war. It explores the mental turmoils of all the characters and what they went through after the war. This has been my presentation on War and Peace. Thank you for listening. Um, don't forget to support my wonderful team of cameramen and also my wonderful teacher, man, said I do. So, um, I really hope to see you in the next videos on other projects that we have, such as essays, maybe book reports, such as War and Peace. Thank you for everything. Please like, subscribe, share the video if you can.